never had a fight in school. Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace, Weezy gave you the juice. Another white we had to park one and hang with the crew. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, you know who it is. And you know what it is. That's called motherfucking boys. You know nothing about that. Yo, welcome to it up. Yes, the number one channel where we break down these bars. Catch your mom's mind, miss man. You know exactly why you're here. Yeah, if the bars went over your head, if you're sensing, sensing tension brewing, you come over here to get the reaction. There is only one place to go for beef time. It is Wheel It Up. You know what it is. It's your boy Dan. And it's your boy Toby. And listen, we've just told you what Drake did. Yeah. Mm. If, you, if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. And uh, a man called Rick Ross, yeah, came who, caught, back. who caught a bit of smoke, came back within 180 minutes. By the way, that's a game of football that doesn't take time with the players. That's, that's how quickly he came back. A two hour turnaround time. Sensation. And he came back. So Straight back. He had it, he had it ready. It, he had it ready. Yeah, it was in the tuck. It was in the locker. It was in the tuck. I'm sure. It doesn't matter. But either way, we doesn't have matter. it. It's here. And let's just give a bit of background to this yeah. one. Because Joe Budden on the podcast said that he feared with Ross and Drake would be a, a, mm. an interesting one to look at. Yeah. And Drake, obviously, we all know, took Rick Ross's ex baby mum, whatever, brought her to his, one of his shows. Yeah. And that's because Rick Ross was playing. Unfollowed him, him and, unfollowed and, him and, and yeah. publicly was playing the diss track like in that in, in his in his. So it got a bit petty. Drake obviously then dropped the bar about Ross, letting us know that he's turning 50 and needs to be worried about this shit with P. Yeah, we know. The diddler. The diddler. Right. And uh, yeah, he, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He's got, yeah. So Rick Ross potentially has a larger fish to fry than, exactly. than be worried about young Aubrey. But Ross said, no, I got, I got, I got time. 72 for you. I got time. But and I've, Ross does have yeah, 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 yeah. this beef thing. If you mm -hmm. haven't heard Mafia music, Mm -hmm. Go and listen to my future. Mm -hmm. So, because Rick Ross's pen game for this record is unrivaled. So let's get it's into not it. his first radio. Let's let's, let's go in. So there's almost fifty. Yeah, he's been out. He's been out here a while. He's been here a while. He's a veteran. Let's say. All right, champagne moments. Mm. Let's go. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label. Oh, ghost writers get to the floss, what you could have had. Okay, and we know that is the standard attack for Drake. You know, ghost write allegations. You know, you know. Get to floss, what you could have had. That's a. That's a mean one, you know what I'm Even saying? Even just before that, mm. yeah? Ross said, uh, you were laughing until my official jab. Mm. And it's because, again, as we were saying earlier, Ross hadn't sent for him. This is my official diss track. So mm -hmm. let's hear that. Mm -hmm. from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind to my wife. Ooh, record labels they make it, taking a loss. loss. You a worker just looking to chart. Interesting, because recently Drake did sign for a Universal Music Group for a okay. huge amount of money. Okay. And that's always been a sort of a notch against his record mm -hmm. on his lack of seemingly success on OVO. Like mm -hmm. his own record label. Right. You know, you had artists like that was originally um, signed, I think, um, Nav. Different okay. people. But basically, okay. Okay. no one really blew on his record. Right. When you compare that to Rick Ross's Maybach music, uh, but Meek Mill, Wale, like, okay, Starly, okay. you know, so you're a worker looking to chart. I've got my thing, like my my own record label, but you signed for UGM. Interesting. Mm. That's the rest of that. Mm. Interesting. You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind tell by my watch. This a different time. Living fine. I'm getting high. It's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain. Oh, who believes he's moving keys in his Louis, 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 Louis V's? Now right that's you snatch your chain. chain. Now we know that's a shot of back. Everything is bleed. Now we know it like Drake's bodyguard uh, rapper friend. Uh, right. Louis Pouch, Louis V Pouch, they say for fashion. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. So we, we're we seeing the shots now at Drake's camp. I like the start to this. And also, we haven't mm. reacted to this, but on the weekend tune, 
where we can with um, mm-hmm. Future and Metro Boomin, the weekend references why are your shooters making TikToks? Yeah, yeah again, yeah, a shot yeah. at back and not nice. So okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 Ross yeah. also taking a leaf out of Kendrick's book. We're gonna take the chain. Mm-hmm. Let us know mm-hmm. in the comments down below because mm-hmm. when Meek was dissing Drake, mm-hmm. Meek, Meek said we're gonna take that DC chain back from you. Mm. So, has someone taken Drake's chain in the past? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, let's let that's, us that's know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the chain reference has happened a couple times a few now. Times. So, let's so see, that might be an industry mm. secret. Mm. Every time, living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you T.I. Lee. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Oh, I like that. That also lovely entendre there. You either getting money or you're ready to die. That's phenomenal. B.I.G. B.I.G. Ready to it's Die. Guy, classic album. But mm-hmm. I also like that. And that, that is mm-hmm. another way of Rick Ross saying, do you want to keep these street, this in the streets or do you want to go gangster? Mm-hmm. And I have a feeling that's going to be Rick Ross's theme all the way through this. And you can also even tie that to Get Rich or Die Trying because 50, 50. like obviously Drake's diss was centered around 50. 50. 50 so I feel like 50. And he's now mentioned Backer, who's Drake's, yeah. you know, the main, guy in the main goon. So yeah. that's what Ross is going to do here. I, I, yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, this, yeah, that's what he's yeah, going to yeah. do through this tune. Do you want to keep it, do you want to get rich or do you want to die? exactly. Yeah, is that two what, choices? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Let's hear that. And you keep it tough if you be by me. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, right through the yard. And oh, I... man. Mm. Listen, listen, Ross is going to lay us on this. Mm. And if you, if you sleep, you're not going to get it. Mm-hmm. He said... Keep it topped if you stand by me, right? Mm-hmm. He's talking about his shooters. Yeah. Do the job better known as the Charles Schwab. Charles mm-hmm. Schwab is a financial institution in America. Yeah, yeah. Rick Ross is saying he's known as the Charles Schwab. You do the job, you're the shooter next to me, I'm the bank. I bankroll yeah, that, that yeah, body yeah, you're going to yeah, catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it? The, f- the financier. Yeah? I'm going to know as, ch- uh, as the JP yeah, Morgan, yeah, as the yeah, Goldman yeah, Sachs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take it back right. and let's hear what Ross is saying. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you T.I. Lee. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, right through the yard and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field, go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records Ooh. when we speaking directly. If we keeping the gangster, when you see me, you check me. Oh, niggas leaking their rec- records when we We're speaking, speaking directly. directly. If you keep keeping it gangster, gangster, when you see me, you check, check me. me. Oh, oh. oh, Drake was scared to drop the disc because you know Drake obviously leaked it to academics. Mm. So he's saying, uh, or oh, are they even speaking in the background? Mm. Well, well, why are you leaking records when we speak in that right? Yeah, 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 we're yeah, the yeah, blow yeah. On. Like we talked yesterday. How hey. dare you? And just to go back to rebuttal, Dan's point at the start of this. Mm. Clearly, maybe not the whole song, but elements of this were clearly recorded after Drake got his disc. Yeah, so yeah, you're gonna yeah, have yeah, to give yeah, him yeah, yeah, the yeah. credit for that two-hour response time. And he, again, it might not be the whole song. It might just have snuck this bit in. Yeah, yeah, but it's but nice. Clearly, there's clearly, it is come, it's topical stuff that he's responding to. Very clever, very, very clever. Hey, records, when we speaking directly, if we keeping the gangster, when you see me, you check me. Again, referring as well to the keeping the gangster. Mm-hmm. Oh, white boy, mm-hmm. I see you, I see you, yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really, Woody? Like his moves. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Wheezy gave you the juice. Another white we had to park, want to hang with the crew. Pulling oh, some girls, oh, wanna switch it up like he's going. Now we've got the first haymaker of this whole thing. Jeez! Another white boy at the park want to hang with, with, with the, the crew. crew. Wait, no, no, no! I always liked his. Let's take it back. I always, I always, liked, I always liked his moves, but Weezy, never. Weezy gave no, no, no! Juice. But never had a fight from school. school. Always run, copy and paste flows. flows. 
stole his juice for what? No, Weezy, Weezy, Weezy gave, him, gave the him the juice. Mm. Again, referencing Drake's ghostwriters. He's got the leg up in the game. And he's always wanted to be around the yeah. cool kids. He's and, never and, actually had a And I like the way he's, of course, referring to school. And we know when Drake really came into the scene was Degrassi. He was a school character. Yeah. Never had a fight at school. Hey, hey, hey. Take it easy. Always ran. You know what? That's a push reference as well, you know? Yeah. Because he said something, he, he said the word push. Yeah. But obviously referencing the fight he had with Push yeah, 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 and yeah, running yeah, away yeah. from it. So, yeah, yeah, always run, yes. This yeah, is, this yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. Is. Bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. Don't like really Woody, yeah. like his moves. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Weezy gave you the juice. Another white we had to park, want to hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. I've got more money than you. Because you know on Drake's tune, Drake let us know that he's got the most money out of everyone. Or he was trying to go down that angle of, I've got the most number ones and the, and the yeah, most money. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now Riss is saying, no, 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 saying no, 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 okay, okay. And that's debatable, because obviously Ross has got wing stops. Yeah, 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 Ross he's is got not that franchise, franchise money. Makes he's money off Meat Mill. Those <laughs> artists, exactly, he's worth, he's get. Maybach music has made more money than OVO. Let's be right in terms of label wise. Let's hear that. Let's hear that. I, don't know. I like the I like the angle he's going with that. Mm -hmm. like, I, I got but, more money than you. <laughs> Straight up. Let's see. Let's, hear let's it. see. While we ride rentals, look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got bitches to pay. Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch. Ah, let you DM my hoe, but I got bitches you can't. So again. Where Drake flew out his baby mom, his whatever, baby mom whatever. whatever. He's getting ahead of that and he knows, okay. He's and again, that's another response mm -hmm. to what Drake said. Drake said, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. cuffed your bitch like Ricky. Yeah. So again, we like that's another one. He must that's have dressing. asserted it straight away in under two hours. That's impressive. And I like that, you know. I let you take the one you can take. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I've heard that before. I can't remember what rap beef it is, but I'm gonna find mm -hmm. it if I can. Where someone's referenced no, I, I, you DM the girl, I let you DM. Like, you got the one, I let you. There's ones you can't ever yeah. chat to. Yeah, yeah. She's, for, she's for the streets. Love. That ain't, you know, you're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Could yeah. that as mm. well. Um, let's, let's, check this in. But got bitches you can't let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Drake again told everyone he gave it Ross's first hit. Oh, this is or, painful though. Let's not yeah. go for the classics I, where we're I, talking I, Aston Martin music. Oh. I let you get on my song. It, it was, was good, good for your face. face. I like that. Mm. Rick Ross is saying, in exchange for the number ones you gave me, I gave you credibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. made your name popping in these streets. Because, yeah, 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 bro, yeah, Rick Ross is, is one of the streets' favourites. Mafia music. You know, those kind of... And, 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 of course, Drake is going to play off of I've made you guys hits. I, I'm I'm needed. What was it? I'm the hit maker that yeah. you, you depend on. But I'm the street. Star hey, that you this was on. a transaction. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Two way street, baby. I like it. I like it. Getting, it's getting going. But got bitches you can't let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home and no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Can you niggas for free? Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. Of course, of course, he's gonna snip Drake paying homage. I'm sure every artist has a clip of Drake hailing them up as the GOAT. This guy, that's what he does. Uh, I love you like my own. You're one of the fucking greatest to ever do this shit. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. is not the same if they swap you out with somebody else. So thank you for standing here with me all these years, pushing me further.
And again, we can do it how you want to do it. We can take it anywhere yeah, you want to go. Yeah, again, yeah, that kind of yeah. street versus. Bro, he said, there's many layers to that. He said, you never wanted to be a nigger. That's why you had got a nose, nose yeah, 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 to make yeah, your nose yeah. thinner. Mm. One. Then, he's, then he obviously talked about why he unfollowed him. Something about the a cease and desist. Yeah, French it's Montana. a French Montana. Hating, thought, hating on hating on your dog's project. I thought Drake and French were like. Nah, but clearly there's more. Issues. Drake's got beef because what's well. interesting, Drake wasn't on French's latest album, Mac and and French, Five. And French hasn't been with Drake for a while. They used to make kids. We together, haven't seen that. Exactly. We Not haven't seen that, that relationship. You know. Yeah, exactly. But I still thought they were just. Yeah, just I thought they were cool. I thought they were like proper dogs. So revealing some layers here at the end. Give some money to Weezy. Yeah. Let us hear that and rap a lot. That like monologue boy. at the end. You're not. You're not the same white boy I used to rap with at the beginning. You've changed up your vibe, <laughs> white boy. <laughs> By the way, again, yeah. Brett Ross sounds like a father. You ain't, you ain't want to be a nigga no more, but you want to change your notes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, fuck it all, man. Fucking stunning your life, nigga. Get weak because I'm taking the motherfucking cease and desist. You ain't never want to be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had an operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. People are going to keep playing, by the way, on Drake's uh, biracialness. That's what Pusha was doing. You remember the story of added on where Drake yeah, had you, face? you never wanted to grow your hair because it weren't nappy yeah. enough. <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, one yeah. they're always gonna go on. But mm -hmm. fucking oil, did Drake get nose surgery? I've I, I not seen his nose change, but let's go, let's go. Nigga, nigga, that's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father nose, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, because you said the motherfucking cease and desist the French Montana, nigga. You said the police, nigga, hated on my dog project. That wasn't the same white way that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing nigga so fucking stunning your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Get rap a lot some more money, nigga. White boy, yeah, biggest. It's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your doctors on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going, that's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, White boy. What is so, uh, has Rick Ross got a direct, he's got Drake's cosmetic surgeon on speed dial. He knows clearly. What's is, going on? Is Rick Ross body shaming? <laughs> <laughs> the crazy. fat calling the the, yeah, sorry, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the, the pot calling the kettle black and the fat calling, calling the skinny the, fat. Hey, is that what it did? Yeah, yeah. Rick Ross, stay calm. I, out of anyone to comment on someone's physique, you're not the guy. You you, you wear their surgery. That's why you are wearing their, their weird shit on your on your on your concert. Yeah, yeah, he's not the guy. He's not, he's not the, the guy. Boy. Listen, that got venomous at the end. I would have preferred if he'd put that into the verse mm. rather than the monologue. I mean, the beat um, was still playing. The beat was still playing, but you know, to me, there mm. were some bombshells there that would have sounded great on if they were snuck actually in. snuck into the song. Maybe similar to the way he snuck in some of the initial references. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, about the bitches, you know, yeah. about having more money than him. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That but was scathing. That was that was a vicious one. That that was the first diss track we have had on this whole thing dedicated to anyone. To one person. This is a diss track. This is hip hop, baby, and we're back. Rick Ross has jumped in. Now, um, I, I liked it. Obviously, I, do you know what? I love that he kept it rosé. It, it was on a beat. Absolutely violins playing. That he's, is a he's, vintage he's one. He started talking about marble floors. I thought, oh. where's he getting with this? Oh. Marble floors, rosé. But that's, off, that's rosé's course. Of course. Of course. Um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree with you, right? Mm -hmm. I, don't think this is, I think this is the second diss track of this whole thing. Because okay. Drake bought a diss track out. It just happened to be for loads of people. Now, 
I because that Drake this track was obviously dedicated towards Kendrick. Technically, with lines for everyone. We could say this is technically the third one. If we're taking J Cole's one, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's white right for me. But but we it's, the, this is personal though. I think this is Ross has taken it to another level. Those two haven't yet. In, in my opinion, the reason Ross took it to this level was because mm. Drake started saying he was familiar with Pete Diddy. And I think once you cross that line or start indicating funny shit around Ross's name, also mentioning that mm. you're going to take his bitch, which was something you actually did, mm. Ross is going to take it to a different level. Now, for me, mm-hmm. this might just be my favourite. Reason being, mm. it was all aimed at one man. And I, Drake had to go at multiple people but I think Drake might have just made a fatal error. Because giving Ross an inch, Ross is taking a mile. He's taking a mile. He's taking a mile. He's, he ran with it. And Drake is now at risk of everyone dedicating a song to him. And that's going to be difficult to, 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 to combat. Absolutely. In 20v1. But this was, Rick Ross was not, ne- wasn't in the conversation Drake, at all. This Drake is why it's kind of crazy. Because Drake brought him in. He's now got problems because you've got the Kendrick Lamar diss. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, the verse. Was heavily aimed at Drake. He needed to respond to that. He's touched on it mm-hmm. with what he done, but there's no dedicated verses there really. Rick Ross has now taken it up a notch. Like this is now to me when we talk that. about the, yeah yeah yeah. So we've now gone from <laughs> J Kendrick, Cole, no. Drake, J uh, Kendrick to now I'm Drake. Sure, don't forget future. Future, future sorry. Yeah. To now. Kendrick, J. Cole, Leave It and Future, yeah. Drake's on his own, to now Drake, Rick, Drake, Ross, Rick Kendrick, Ross, Kendrick, Weekend, ASAP Rocky. <laughs> I feel Rick Ross though, the public will perceive this differently to let's say even, let's say the hip hop heads that have really been following it and digging into mm. the bars because for me, this has come out of nowhere. When you dig in to it, yes, Drake did kind of call for this, but on the surface, it just looks like Rick Ross has just jumped on. Like the kind of person, you know, kick a man when he's down. This definitely plays onto Drake's narratives about being 20 versus one. Yes. And yes. and the industry turning on him. Yeah. Clearly, they probably made the most hits. I'd say Drake and Rick Ross. Yeah. It's a, it's a toss up between him and Future. But in I terms think of Future have bigger songs. Yeah. But in terms of like what you love, that's cultural kind of hits. Aston Martin Absolutely. Music, Absolutely. Money to the Grave. Oh, these Come ones, on. these ones Come have on. got classics yeah. together. Yeah. So. It's it's an interesting one. I think Drake has can respond to this well. I don't think this is an any by any means a knockout blow. Um, Rick no, Ross didn't yeah. say anything here that no, is devastating, no, but it, this is again Drake is going against everyone. So there we go, and that's that's what's that's we're here. We love it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, we're here for the response. Listen, guys, where are you thinking this ranks? Um, who, how does this rate as a response to Drake? Who have you got Let in this four way death match as well? Yeah, because now Drake is Drake is uh, opening up a can of worms with mm-hmm. another opponent, and that's that's I think where Drake might be having a problem. But mm-hmm. you guys, let us know in the comments down below. Do those four things you always need to do for newcomers: like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell. Wheel it up. We've been great. You've been great. I'm more of a rapper, I make these songs are funny, more of an actor. You're a defender, I call an attacker.